There we go. Sorry, guys. Microphone was being a little uh, sketchy there. How's everyone doing? Welcome back. Just as usual, I'm just going to fix up the camera and stuff because it's never set preemptively for how I like it when I'm streaming. But I hope everyone out there is doing well tonight. So we're going to be playing River City Girls 2. Now, just to be clear, because I do see a couple of people in the chat saying they've played this before, and it's possible that you've played the first one, or if you've played this one, it just came out yesterday. So before, you know, just to be clear, there is a brand new version of River City Girls 2 that came out yesterday, which is the follow-up to River City Girls that came out a couple of years ago. Uh, this is the, We're playing the second part tonight, the new one. And basically, it should be pretty new to most everyone out there. I myself have not played it yet. All I did was start it up. And the reason I have it not started right now is because I want us to see the intro sequence. Now, just a fair warning, I did cut the, I did cut the um, music in the game. Because I am pretty sure that all the songs in this game are going to be copyrighted. Because they have lyrics. And YouTube and songs with lyrics, even songs without lyrics when they're Star Wars, is going to be harsh. And it sucks because, as Grovel is saying right now in the chat, this game has amazing music. I mean, music is probably one of the top selling points of this game. So it does suck that we're going to be playing tonight without music. But if we don't, we're going to get copyrighted. So... I'm playing without music to try and make sure that uh, the stream is available for all of you as a replay after and that we don't get copyrighted as it goes, meaning that I have to pull it down for a couple of days, mute the songs, and it's a whole, whole just pain in the neck. So, first of all, just want to say hi to everyone that's already here that I can see in the chat. We have Mark, we have Corey, Jumping Bear. Wild One, Travis, Grovel, Nico Spoon, Tom McAdams, and Ghost Cowboy. Hey guys, welcome back. So I am super happy to see you all here. We're playing another beat em up. I mean, December has been pretty good for beat em ups so far. Um, but on and honestly, December has just been overall good this year. Normally, we don't get as big of releases as we got this December for gaming. But I feel that a lot of developers are popping it out like right before Christmas. And it's a little, it's a little odd this year because normally December is really, you, you do get games releasing, but not normally games that are this big. And by the way, I picked up two new physical games today. Ugh. I got Final Fantasy uh, Crisis Core Final Fantasy 7 Reunion, which I'm going to start playing as soon as I have a second. However, I've already played through completely the PSP version, so the storyline's not going to be much new to me, but I do want to see how they reworked it, and it's going to be a good time overall. It was a very good game the first time through. It's a shorter um, Final Fantasy, 20-some hours probably. So it's, it's probably doable in like a week or two over Christmas. And I also got Joe and Mac, new Joe and Mac, Caveman Ninja. And I'm actually super excited to try this one. I'm, I'm super excited to try this one because uh, I love Joe and Mac, the original ones, especially the arcade versions. I'm, lo I'm looking forward to seeing what they're they're going to do with this one. And I'm also going to be doing an unboxing for this one. So I'm going to be doing an unboxing short because there's I there's actually quite a few goodies in this. This is the T-Rex edition that has uh, trading cards, a keychain, stickers, other stuff in it. It's not going to be a major unboxing, but it's going to be a one minute short. Take a look at what's in the box. See if there's anything interesting. I've got another couple of unboxings planned from games that I got a couple of months ago that I haven't opened yet. I'll I'll do that over the holidays too. So hope everyone is doing well tonight. And like I said, um, 
I know there's been like a slightly less videos on the channel, especially the deal videos over the last week. Honestly, it's just because the eShop has been extremely quiet. Now, we did get a batch of deals yesterday. However, I, I thought we were going to get the Christmas deals today, which is why I didn't do a video on the small batch we got yesterday. Because the Christmas deals have actually started dropping in other regions. We didn't get them in the US, however. So I'm going to be keeping an eye out. And I'm going to do a video for tomorrow instead if we don't get them at midnight tonight. Because... The other deals, we, we we still got some very good deals this week that dropped on the eShop. Uh, however, like I said, yes, uh, it's been slightly more quiet over the last like week or two. So the deals videos have, you know, I'm not the kind of person I'm just, I, I don't mind putting out a video with, with this, you know, with some deal reminders, but I like making a video when it's worth making a video when I have fun talking about new games. So let's get started, guys. Let's let's start up River City Girls 2. Um, where did I put my controller? Over here. Oof. Honestly, it's been quite an exhausting week this week. My nine to five job has been uh, draining a lot of my energy this week. Switch to the mainstream. Now, hopefully, the intro sequence plays over again. However, without music, I don't know if it's going to be as awesome as when I watched it the first time. And there's a little bit of a loading screen at the beginning. I've been playing Mighty Final Force. That I, I feel like that's... I feel like I recognize that, but at the same time, I don't. I can't get an image. Oh yes, it's the NES for it, it's it's the NES uh, game. That's why. Mighty Final Force. Yes, it is the final uh, final fight sort of NES version. Oh man, no music. This thing, it really doesn't hit the right. It really doesn't do it justice, but the animation is beautiful. So when we get into the game, at least we'll have the game sounds, we'll have all of that. I just killed the music because it's most likely going to get copyrighted. I know the first game was problematic with that. But these games have awesome cutscenes, beautiful animations. I actually got River City Girls Zero this week in from Limited Run Games too. Uh, we played that on stream. We played that on stream a while ago, so I have the full. I'm gonna have the full River City Girls collection physical, but I got River City Girls Zero, and I remember that one of the best parts of the remake they did is they they put like digitally animated cutscenes that were actually pretty good. Yeah, I know the double pack on PlayAsia is pretty tempting. I already have the first one, so I'm going to be buying the second one separately. But for someone who doesn't have the first one, um, that double pack is extremely tempting. $35 for both games means you're pretty much paying eShop prices for two physical games. It is uh, it is a really good deal. I would uh, Honestly, I would jump on that. I do think it's also a game that might over time cost more. Because if they don't reprint it, I'm pretty sure there's going to be a, a fair amount of demand. Uh, okay, let's skip this. So let's get started and play. So there is online play available for this one, which is something super interesting. The first one, to my recollection, didn't really have online play available. Rickard says, hello guys, started to play River City Girls, the first game, other day, and it was really fun. Hope the second one is good, good as the first. I am hoping as well. Um, there we go. Let's create slot one. There we go. Seanism, hello, my man. Welcome. Flyer TX, hey man. Welcome to the stream. Um, we're going to play normal. We're going to do story mode. Oh, we can play as either the female characters or the male characters. 
And I wonder if those are levels at the bottom, because I wonder if you level them. Part of me wants to sort of play as the guys, because I like we've played as the girls before. So I feel like I want to play as the guys this time around to start out. Sounds good. We're gonna take we're gonna take Cunio. Now, I know this is called River City Girls, but the fact that we can actually play as the guys as well is also quite original. I'll see. I might put a little bit of background music. So you guys were here the whole time? If it's too bland, I'll put a little bit of background music and we'll deal with the talk. Whatever. You're treating us to lunch now. It's more important that we have fun than why worry about copyright. So if it's if it's too bland, I'll We've been watching you, sis. You really screwed up this time. Come on, let's go see Pops. I mean our beloved father, the man who single-handedly And this is like pure manga style. It's Empire really nice. From nothing. Decides to put his daughter in charge of things while he does a short stretch in the local pen. The very shortest of incarceration vacation. Nice voice acting. Too. And what does this daughter do? She gets her ass handed to her by a pair of teenage girls. Oh, and also allows them to take down our entire syndicate in the Honestly, process. Honestly, they're already oh, doing better than Pokemon. Girls. They have voice acting. I gotta be honest, Sabi. I can't think of anything more embarrassing. I mean, you really blew this one, you know? Obviously, Dad should have left me in charge. I'm sure he sees that now. Sure, you're his blood and all, but sometimes blood don't, don't run, so, run deep. so deep. Of course, I'm sure he'll fix that right now. I gotta be honest. I've been waiting my whole life for you to face plan like this. I might even take a so it selfie really kicks to off commemorate like the moment. Where the second one le where the first one leaves off. Here she is, Pop. Found yeah, you're right. You could unlock them. Literally. I mean, she was you can play them afterwards, but you have to play through fire. the whole game. Yes, sir. You got it, Pops. I hate it when you call me that. Sabuko, daughter. Is what your brother says true? Did you bring shame on our family? On our organization? I thought Dreamer you'd mode rain. activated death. I thought you'd be more reliable than your screw up brother, Ken. Oh my god, my cat's I being so annoying tonight. It's time to take matters back into my own hands. Ooh, the big bad dude's breaking out of prison. Coming to beat us oh, to a pulp. Oh, man, that was epic. I mean, I knew he was going to embarrass the crap out of you, but that was bad. <laughs> ah, crap. I forgot to take a selfie. So, honestly, I'm impressed with the storyline mode. The voice acting's nice. We have We're some really class. nice, like, manga style. It's not my fault. You were the one who wanted to stop for double chocolate donuts. Okay, it's sort of my fault. Cool fact of the day. A NASA spacesuit costs around 12 million US dollars. That is insane. However, I imagine it's such a specialized product. There must be quite a bit of manufacturing that goes into that. Thank you so much for the $5, Seanism. Very, very appreciated. I'm going to try to get some text-to-speech going here. Okay, uh, double tap and hold L in either direction to run. You can attack while running. Good to know. Now, we can use the D-pad. I'm using the D-pad. But apparently you have the choice between the uh, L button or the D-pad. Can I punch this dude? Yes, but it doesn't do anything. Okay. So by the way, I'm playing with my um, ultimate from 8-Bit um, and I'm going to be using the D-pad for the moment. Unless I see that it's really m not well suited. <laughs> Tap B to do a small jump, hold B for a full jump. 
Uh, you can also jump further from a run. All these lockers are in the way! Stupid lo lockers! Okay, so we so can leave. jump over them. Oh, yeah! I forgot that's a thing we can do. How do we get that book? It's way high up there. You need to run, then jump off the wall. What do I look like, some poor car expert? Are you trying to say parkour? Uh, no? Okay, yeah. Oh, it's here. You can see the shadow. There we go. So, so far for it's like the first game, you sort of navigate around the school. You have both like left, right. You do have up, down, different directions you can go. Just looking forward to getting to some combat here. But this is the mini tutorial, I assume. Hold R to block an attack in front of you. Tap R at the moment of impact to parry an attack, catch weapons. Double tap up or down to dodge. That big bully spinning spit wads at us. Knock it off! Okay. No music is sort of killing this, man. It, it's not giving the full effect here. Let me see something. Can I, can I... We're gonna put it half, okay? We're gonna put half music. If I talk enough, maybe it won't mess us up. <laughs> I'm gonna try and talk over the music. That way we get the music, but it doesn't uh, ruin the effect. And why am I... Why did it get me out of the game? Okay, the exit wasn't exit the menu, it was exit the game. Sure. Which sort of sucks. That, uh, is unfortunate. <laughs> okay, come on. Oh, but so, it feels so much better already with the music. Even though it's only at 50%. Like, honestly, the game just feels dead. It's crazy how much music changes a game. Go. Up here. Spitwa dude. Oh, okay, now we're up to new stuff. What were you children doing out of class? Did you not hear the bell? No, but that's probably because we got here after it rang. We're like super Pretty nice late that the uh, voice acting is even in between the cutscenes. Hmm. Hurry to your desk and watch yourselves. I'll be keeping a knife on you. Don't you mean I? That's what I said. Are you questioning me? Perhaps this would be best discussed after hours in the principal's office. Nope, we're good. One of us just has cheese in their ears. I'm a very messy eater. We won't be late next time, Ms. Megumi. Oh, I'm sure of it, children. Dang. That teacher ain't messing. Oh, yes, we get into a fight finally. Tardiness won't be tolerated. That's gonna be one week detention. What?! That's not fair! Who is this guy anyway? Talking back to a teacher. Another week. You can't do that! Yeah, we just wanted donuts. I can do whatever I want, being that my family runs this school now. Well, I don't even know who you are, so take your detention and cram it. They were very delicious donuts. And I don't know if these are the first... Because there was Ryuji? a little bit of voice acting Ryuichi? in the first one. Would you mind Does it sound like the same voice the actors? Window? What's with the K-pop crew? I feel like Don't the girls are, the but I'm not door? sure the guys are. Nope. Actually, the guys talk. Yeah, the guys talk. In the first place. Dang, we got beat. Well, at least we finished the school stage quicker this time. What do you mean? Nothing. 
attempt at meta humor? Something super weird is going on at the school. Like, more than usual, I mean. No doubt. Should we find out what's up? That sounds exhausting. Yeah, I regretted it as soon as I said it. Let's go back to Yoko my Yoko sounds like the same Maybe voice actor as Shanti. Yeah, I think we'll it is the same kind of voice actor. We, we've got it. We can check after, but definitely. Has anyone played Whoopo looking for a Metroidvania-like game to play on sale? I, well, if you haven't played... Um, if you haven't played Yoku's uh, Yoku Island Express hey, right now, it's How like $3.99. That is Thanks, a freaking huh? amazing Don't Metroidvania. It plays Wait, like a pinball game, but ultimately it's a Metroidvania. A break sometime this month? Why bother? Yeah, yeah I'm pretty sure, yeah, I'm pretty sure the girls are the same. No point ever going back there. Well, I did hear a sequel to Vampire Puncher was just released. What? This morning, in fact. That game store at the but mall yeah, if you haven't played have Yoku's Island Express yet, and right now, it dropped even lower than ever shops. before. It's like yeah, $3.99. Amazing game. I, 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 I picked it have up fun, physically. Kids. Try not to kill anyone. One of those games that, like, I want to make sure I can play for years to come. Okay, you've spent too much time on the couch. Fight enemies, eat food, complete missions, and find your and find side quests to regain your XP. Choose your own path. Okay. Yoko's mom. You kiddos need some fresh air. Two months of sitting on a couch is not good for your lumbar love mom. Okay. We'll go outside here, I imagine. Uh, this is a hideout where you'll be safe. You'll respawn here. You can regroup here to swap characters and change settings. You'll refill some stamina whenever you return. Okay, so... Like, the first one, if you haven't played the first one, there is, like, some RPG overall mechanics and some... Like, basically, you have to, you know, navigate around the town. You go through stores and stuff like that. But they seem to be pushing this one even more in that direction. Ambush. Press Y for quick attacks. X for heavy attacks. Defeat the gangs. Break the screen lock. You'll be recorded. Ouch. Just... I feel like the controls feel a bit stiffer than the first one. So far, that's the only thing I've got to say about control-wise, is it does ball, feel a tiny game, bit stiff. Get back here as fast as possible. Ugh, can we maybe not do the fast part? My tummy doesn't feel so hot. Yeah, mine either. Maybe we shouldn't have sat on the couch for two months straight. Ugh, my previous XP. Or ate all that junk food. So you're sort of Can't building it into the storyline why you've got to rebuild your XP to and you're not already overpowered. Word? Since uh, most likely the previous so game, you already went anymore? through, like, a lot of stuff. Yeah, and I can I can go look at the eShop deals later if you want some other. Like, if you tell me that you already have Yoku, let me know. I can try and take a quick look to see if there's something else that I can, I can get really fast out there. But right off the top of my head, I know that that is the, like... The, the eShop deals video I'm, I want to make, Yoku's is going to be uh, most likely uh, one of the uh, one of these spe like main games that we're going to talk about because I talk about it often, but hitting a brand new low like 3.99, it's worth to re-highlight it for for the next video because that is an amazing game. Press Y to pick up weapons, use them, throw Y, uh, X, break. Like, I'm fun that they did, like, an open world thing where you can do whatever you want, but I do feel like I would... I don't know. A beat-em-up, I do like to have some kind of rough idea where I'm going. So if it's like the first one, we have to collect money. Money's gonna let us buy like upgrades and stuff. So 
by the way, like the random fighting is it's random, but at the same time it's gonna it's gonna help you progress. I'm assuming this is how this one works as well. Yeah, the Nintendo year in review are in. I looked at I looked at a couple of my accounts because like I have it spread over like three or four accounts, most of my gameplay. And uh, I don't know, I'm like at two or three hundred games. <laughs> But obviously, like, some of them it's like 45 minutes to an hour because I'm like trying them out for eShop deals and... It's not something that needs, a, that needed like a lot of time. I started looking yesterday, but pretty much the, the two games I think I put the most hours into were both Pokemon Arceus and Pokemon Scarlet Violet. I put like 60 hours into both of them. Like 60 hours each. Yeah, and the ukulele games as well are lower than ever before. Narita Boy 2 hit a new low, 674, something like that. This is, I guess you can test your co your combos here. Let's see, it's fast combo, not much damage. Okay, let's go heavy. That little song came in the background with the main song from the first one. So is this like just basically a training ground? Like there's no can buy stuff here. Fine. We'll come back. Most likely we're gonna have to buy more moves. Like if it's like the first game, you start out with like very little combos, very little moves, and then basically we're gonna have to progress as we gain levels, gain XP, uh, gain money, we'll be able to buy more advanced moves. Oh, level 2, STSP, hold A. Oh, we got our flying knee. But that's a special. Oh, our special meter is at the bottom. Let's go look at Capital Avenue of Bay Street. Yeah, the impossible lair is rough. Uh, it took me, like, number one, I had to get, like, basically all the little upgrades. Uh, bees to, to, to have like the maximum tries and then after that like even even with the maximum bees it's still tough like it's not like you get the maximum bees and then it's like a walk in the park you still gotta know what you're doing and it's rough uh, weekend the last enemy left in a scene they will beg you for mercy walk into them grab the enemy press Z also at R to recruit them okay It's like the first one we can recruit enemies. Now I'm gonna be able to call her with that L and Hey, it's Kauri! Oh, hi! Nice running into you two. Where are you headed? To the mall, it seems. Ooh, when you get there, you should try their new mocha durian wheatgrass smoothies. That sounds disgusting. It is! Uh, yeah, We're looking that sounds disgusting. Store. Know where it is? Video games or tabletop games? Table what? We don't need furniture. No, it's like with game boards and D20s and little Peter figures of <laughs> elves and warriors. I understand maybe three of those words. Never mind. Video game store is at the other end of the mall. I'll mark it on your phone. Oh, Thanks. so we got our first don't submission get beat up, here. Okay? Hey, Scotty, Wait, what's up, man? Wait, you guys still want to hang for a while first? Octopath Traveler, 245 hang. hours. Triangle Strategy, 145 hours. Man, I, I wish I still had the time to put into one game that many hours. And possibly if I one day get to do this full time, I will have time to get those RPGs up there anymore. Dream. Press start everything anyway, don't hang in.
Okay, so the mall's all the way down there. Dang. So basically, we're like up there towards the left where you can see my face. And we need to get all the way down there to the right in red. That's a... They have us going... Uh, I don't want that. Same. Close it to the start. There we go. So we have quite a ways to go. Oof. Honestly. I, honestly, I, I, I wasn't expecting like this like pure open world approach. I'm not complaining. Just saying that for the moment, it's not what I was expecting. And I can see pluses and minuses to this. was rougher than I would have liked it. Like I said, for the moment, it does feel a little bit sluggish. However, I, 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 I'm just thinking that's because right now we don't have enough moves. And I'm not using the dodges, actually. I should maybe be using the dodges more, the double taps. Which actually look almost like shadow steps from Bleach. Oh, I can't sidestep when I have an item. No. That's interesting. We actually can't sidestep if we have an item in our hand. Here, we're gonna try to make it to the mall. We'll focus on getting that first like sub objective out of the way and see if maybe it gives us a little bit more of a specific direction we're supposed to be taking. We're getting low on health. We're gonna see what happens. I assume we're gonna just. Okay, so we can try, we can reset all progress since the last checkpoint. If not, we can respawn at the hideout, but and you don't lose any money. So we're gonna try that, because I'm assuming in this case we didn't get very far. We're better off respawning at the hideout. Can we change characters at any point? Yeah, we can. Okay, we're going to stick with our, our character here. Okay, we can choose a slot. So we can unlock the recruits and we can actually choose the recruits we want. Interesting. Yeah, exactly. You have to level up. It's it, The game seems to be tuned that way where like... The beginning, it's, it feels rough. You feel, you don't have many options. Your combos are short. Like Street Fighter, can we beat on the car? No, we can't. Let's just look at the GPS. I just want to see if there's a better way to the mall. No, best way is still down, then to the right, and whatnot.
But yeah, this is definitely a game just like the first one. You have to put time into it before you decide if it's a game you want to continue with. If you play like 15 minutes and you're like, oh, you know, the game doesn't feel good, you're, you're not getting the full experience. And actually, we're locked. We can't go down here. The loading screens, however, feels like there's a lot. Like, especially if you're trying to get from one area to another quickly, feels like we're gonna have to go through like a lot of loading screens on a regular basis. But I'm pretty sure we're probably gonna get some kind of fast travel option. Uh, jump kick. Jump 180. Yeah, towards the, towards the right. Oh, and when we level up, we actually get our health back, which is not too bad. You have to get the new Pokemon for Christmas. I think it's going to be a top gift for Christmas. And, like... If you like Pokemon, you're not gonna like. Is the, are the technical issues disappointing? Yes, they are, but it, it's not gonna change the fact that it's a Pokemon game and it's it's a good one. Like the open worldness and they, they've corrected a lot of things that were starting to get annoying with Pokemon games. You know, like the random encounters are fixed. The uh, The catching Pokemon is easier because you have a dedicated button for your Pokeballs. It sounds like small fixes, but over like 40 to 60 hours of gameplay, they add up. That's the thing, is that it's not a game that you finish in 10 hours where you don't have time to get fed up with doing those things. So just those little freaking corrections that they've made make a huge difference in the end. Totally bad. Let's go to the mart. We should be able to get some items here. What you need? A unique consumable, consumable item will earn a, you a permanent stat boost the first time it's eaten. You can eat them in the shop or save them for later. They give you a stat boost the first time, but after that they don't. So one attack, one... Uh, okay. How much money do we have? We have $78. We can buy one of each. You want to store them? Okay. At least this pushes you to actually try nice the different one. items. And this one doesn't actually give me a stat boost, so... See you later! I'm not gonna buy that one for the moment. Uh, the quick item suction tool will allow you to eat on the go. Use the R, cycle through items, then you press down on R to eat them. I'm gonna try that as soon as I have a second of more free time. Ouch. Jeez. Rather her take the hit than I take the hit. Okay, so let me just see this. Where, okay, yeah, we can cycle through with the right thumbstick up there, and then I guess if we press down, 
we eat it. And we got plus one attack at the same time. Not bad. Hey, what's up, guys? What's up, DJ? How are you doing? We're, we're trying to figure out the games for the moment. There's a lot in common with the first one. The only thing so far that I'm noticing way different is that the first one nonetheless gives you sort of like more of a directional main storyline to follow, especially in the beginning. This one is really like, oh, go do what you want. I've got to stop trying to, to, to hit them when when they're down. They do a wake-up combo each and every time, and I'm getting hit by the wake-up combo each and every time. Uh, am I going the right way? No, I'm not. I had a feeling. Oh, but I think I'm gonna might have to go around, won't I? Because I couldn't go towards the right. We did. It was the freaking construction site. You got your code from LRG, you won one of their giveaways? Awesome. I assume that's why you're saying you got your code from LRG. But that is awesome. Oh no, we can get it. Oh, no, 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 don't die. We can use the items quick. Okay, so we've got our second assist. We'll grab the apple here. Let's go look what this shop has. Give me a B, give me a U, give me a Y, give me your money! Oh, you paid for it? The collector's edition of River, River City Girls 2? Nice. That's gonna be a nice one. Honestly, I'm gonna get the I'm gonna import the Japanese version. Just because I have the Japanese version of the first one, so I sort of want them to match. I know it's weird, but since I have the Japanese one for the first one, I'm like, let's let's make the match. But bye, bye, bye. Excellent spending. Nice choice. Catch your own. Man, I spent like all my money there, but we have everything that will give us a stat boost. And I mean, for the moment, I feel like stats are going to be the most important thing early in the game. This is just another play. Oh, I'm I'm forgetting that we have the um, spinning wheel kick now. I have to try that one out. Live unboxing from DJ. I don't know. DJ, you can do a up, live bro, unboxing Steph? on Ready YouTube, especially the shorts. I like the unboxing. Like I'm doing the unboxings now, short version. I find it fits super well. A minute to watch, like a nice unboxing, see what's in it, fits in super well. Nice, you have the Japanese version of the first one, uh, but the alternate cover from LRG, nice. Uh, the shop's been doing okay, like for, for starting it up, I think it's been doing okay. Um, it's hard to tell because it's only been like, what, like a week, week and a half maybe? But I'm feeling like some people are using it and it's good and honestly, it's it's gonna help out the channel a lot and I'm glad it gonna, it's gonna give you guys a discount too. And, you know, like I said, I look at it this way. If you guys are using the shop, it's like you're getting an extra 10% off your eShop deals. If you buy a $50 card, you get 5 bucks off. That's like a free $5 game. Uh, I have a I have a, a shop now, mapleshop.gg, where you can buy uh, official gift cards for the Nintendo Switch. 
and Xbox, and you uh, there's also a code Maple Ten where you can get ten percent off. So if you're buying eShop gift cards, and even someone who uses their credit card, like look, even me from time to time, I was using my credit card rather than eShop cards just for convenience. Well, I'm just always buying cards now because it's ten percent off, and I use my own code. <laughs> I use my own code for 10% off and it's like why pay for it with your credit card and get 0% off where you can just when you can just buy gift cards and get 10% off and whether you buy it from me or someone else it's the same principle so I mean obviously I would love if you guys bought it from me but even if you buy it from someone else it's it's a win-win for you guys like for you guys it's absolutely zero off and these are like I'll give you an example. Alex does business with the same company as I do over at Switch Corner. And these are official deals with Nintendo. So it's not any kind of unofficial thing or whatnot. It's like you're getting real cards officially licensed by Nintendo. Um, but seriously, like from now on, like there's no reason for me to pay anything with my credit card. I'm just going to load a gift card each time, even if it's only $10 gift cards. And uh, you get 1% back on your credit card. That can be good too. It depends how much you buy with your credit card. But yeah. Um, but yeah. So I, honestly, it's just... I never even thought about it before. Um, like, I know Alex had it. And I should have been buying cards from him. Like, I already bought cards from him from time to time. Like, as soon as the card was more than $5, I would buy it from Alex. But I should have been buying all my games that way for like a year now already or more because you save 10% extra every time now I don't know if the 10% off is going to be good forever but at least for the moment you've got it so we can buy new moves and I should not have spent all my money because we could have new moves go beat up the world dude. dang okay so we're gonna have to save up some money now well, I mean, it's not bad having the items eater because it's going to give us stats, and stats are stats. Come to mama. I guess that's run for. Oh, yeah. So it is run for the slide tackle. Now at least we're getting some of like, the options that you normally have. <laughs> it's like you heard your name somehow. I was just telling people that, um, you know, whether you buy from me or even from you, it's always a good idea to have, um, have the, to use the gift cards rather than paying cash. And I don't know why I hadn't been already doing it for years in the sense that why not just always save that extra 10% off instead of, like, basically giving it to the Nintendo Switch eShop because you're paying with your credit card. Now, I can get how some people, though, if they don't know how the game works, I can see how some people, at least at the beginning, are going to maybe... I don't want to say give up on this game, but they're going to find that the controls are a little stiff at the beginning. But it's more because your characters just don't have, like, a full set of moves yet. Good to know. Vending machines generally give you give you items. Let's just see the GPS. Where are we? Are we at the mall yet? Next one over. We're getting there. Oh. Oh. Thought I could get him with the rising. Wow. 
we're gonna replace him because we were he was almost dead our guy so you, you they do have life points your assists do have life points that i saw at the top so when they get beat on it's actually not good because you're gonna lose them Yeah, I know they're wor yeah they're working on Sony as well. That's gonna help out a lot of people too. Argentina or France, Team Messi. <laughs> I don't think Alex is gonna take for France. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. It's France beat freaking uh, England, so I'm like, there, there's no way Alex is gonna is gonna take for France. Like, theoretically, you can stay on one screen, wait for spawns, and power up. Like, basically get stats, get money, buy moves. I, I want to wait. I want $50. I want at least to get... Uh, I want to get one move. We're, we're, we're almost there. Anyone going to show up? Come on. Let's go back towards the gym. Gal Gun VR for Bear. Watch that. Bear is a Gal Gun fan. I, I feel it. That is so cheap, and I was blocked. There. You have enough, let's go buy a move. Honestly, I didn't watch the games. I, I followed the scores, but I didn't watch them. Most of them were at like crazy hours. I don't know if any of you follow me on Twitter, but we got like 20 centimeters of snow today, man. That's like, like 20 centimeters of what, like eight inches of snow. It was a pretty garbage day, traffic wise and everything. Not that I do traffic because I work from home now, but like just getting anywhere, like just going to pick up my physical Daddy games my took me like double the time me. it normally takes. Okay, so super kick. Headbutt, normal. Front kick, heavy. Uh, let's buy the most expensive one. Tubetacular! Happy rampaging. Come back soon. Do we get it automatically, or do we have to activate it? Don't see them there. Accessories. Do we have anything? Nothing. Move list. Let's just look. Friend kick is down in this. There it is. Ow! Yes, once again. The, the the freaking wake up combos are getting on my nerves a little bit. Here we go. Like that one especially. Just use one of our items. Strength is up. Nico, you had over 60 centimeters? Where are you, Nico? Rare that someone beats Canada. Unless you're in Canada, but even more northern. Or maybe you're like... I, I think the prairies got a bit... Uh, a lot this... Currently. Oh, dang. We can go up here.
Wow. That's weird. You can, like, just jump into the backyard. Okay, so we can sort of jump into the foreground when we want. Now, let's get to the mall. We're pretty much here. Like I said, so far the only thing that's slightly annoying me is the current is the constant loading screens. Because there's a lot. And I'm not gonna say that overall it's gonna be something, but it is noticeable. Like this the screens are fairly short. Oh, level up. RX Monch. And we have new moves in the dojo. Monch. Okay, we have like a back thrusting elbow. Man, these combos are gonna get. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling this game's gonna get complex combo wise. Welcome. Hope you're hungry. Three inches of snow, but it switched to rain. That's not too bad. It's gonna melt. Um. Uh, I think they level up with... I'm, I'm not sure if they level up with your levels as well, but I do know that apparently each time, the first time you eat a new type of food, it does. It, it's supposed to add to your stats. Which does, like, sort of always put you in a weird situation because, like, you nice don't want to spend all your money you just on food. Anytime. Because you need them for moves as well. But I feel like stats overall will still probably be more benefit benefit beneficial beneficial my god I English please than just new moves all the time. What? Why was I stunned from one hint? Dead. Oh hey! You two heading inside the mall? Stranger danger! Calm down. What's it to you, guy? Some Yakuza gang apparently took over all the stores. Even the fashion stores? We're here for a video. So there is a storyline because, like, Even basically, we got a cutscene here. I We're follow. We talk to the, the girl. She sent us here. We get lockdown. here. We get some more information. Why are you telling us all this? Well, it looked like you two could use some protection. <laughs> That's laughable. Yeah, we beat up like everyone in town. Impressive! Well, if you need another pair of fists and you got some cash, drop by any time. I'll help you clear that whole place of Yakuza scum. Hmm. We'll keep it in mind. But can we, like, pay him and we get, like, uh... Hey, see a champ da Oh, hey, Sean, you're heading out. Sorry, I thought champ dancer was heading out. See you later, Sean. Sorry if I missed you before you left. Hire henchmen are stronger recruits that cost money. If your henchman is defeated, you will have to hire them again. Okay. I don't feel like we need to do that. Hey, buddy. You looking for a sparring partner? Let's just I see how much guess. it costs. I knew you'd be back. You 25 bucks. Health, huh? No, definitely not. Let's go into the mall. We'll see what's up. We need them, we'll come back. Soundtracks, the soundtrack is amazing. Both, but the soundtrack in this game is amazing. I'm really hoping I don't get copyrighted. Uh, I, I Originally, I cut the music, but honestly, it cuts the vibe on the game so hard when you cut all the music. 
I put it back to 50%, but there's a risk that the, the, the video is going to get copyrighted because of that. At least now, since I'm starting to get a few more moves, it does start feeling like I have more options. Like at the beginning, it was sort of like, okay, the mini combo, wait till he gets up, hit him again. Now, do we have a, does it tell us where we need to go in here? Because we're like in a subsection. Yeah, so we have to get to the red room. So we're going right, right, then up. Amy's candy. Like, is this all stuff that we have to eat food? Oh, hello. Please come oh, in. Oh, eight fifty. That's a good deal. Sh sure. Uh, oh, okay. Um, goodbye then. <laughs> like, I mean, there's a lot of stores, so you're gonna have to do a lot of. I wonder if I can combo that heavy kick. Most likely I can. So it really is like a beat em up RPG. Like, honestly, the game plays out halfway between, like... Like, it, there's so many RPG-like elements that it almost plays out halfway between, like, an action RPG and, like, a beat-em-up. Um... No problem, champ. Good, good to know you're still here. But uh, you're hoping the snow clears before you fly to England next week. But does England get a lot of like snow that stays on the ground? I feel like you guys get snow, but it, it, it generally doesn't stick around. Like like Canada, we, when we get snow, we get snow for like four months. Like for four months, everything is covered. Like just, you know, once snow sort of like hits and our, our ground gets covered, it's here to stay for like four months. I feel like England, you guys get snow, but like it lasts for a couple of weeks and then leaves. I don't know. I'm assuming that, but and I imagine England's a big place as well, so it depends northern or. Sure are a lot of yakuza here, even more than a typical weekend. Maybe there's a sale. Is it Black Friday? We're not going shopping. Oh my God! Right they just said, "Is it We're Black here for Friday?" One video game, then back home. Fashion doesn't just happen, you know. You have to work at it. For now, try working at clobbering these henchmen with me. Yeah, okay. We see how close we are to leveling up somewhere. There must be a place where we see it. Let me just see. I just want to see if there's a place where we can see how close we are to leveling up. Oh yeah, we see here. XP. So the next one is in 328 XP. I feel like that's not a lot. Let's just check the music shop because this isn't food. Please look around. Don't break anything. The music bot here will be available in your hideouts. Rock on. Oh, so we might be getting additional hideouts. Oh, I get it. Yeah, that sounds like... Because, like, Canada, we get, like, crazy... Like, especially Montreal, we're, like, super... We, we, we get super... We're super equipped to handle snow. So, if it's anything under, like... 
I would say 16 inches. It's it's it sucks, but it's not a big deal. What I mean is life doesn't stop. Maybe maybe the kids get a snow day, but everything else keeps going. If it hits above 16 inches in 24 hours, that's where like our infrastructure doesn't keep up. Um, and basically, you know, here everyone has to have snow tires by November 15th. So you're basically if you own a car and it's on the road after November 15th, you have to have snow tires on it. So you don't wind up with like people that like, you know, there's st well, your car can still get st stuck in the snow, but there's a lot less of a Drop likelihood that time. it happens. We'll be around. Some people don't listen, don't put their tires on, but I mean, most people do. We're in Ottawa, Toronto, and Lon London, Ontario for a winter. <laughs> yeah, so you got the bad of it. Especially London. London is gonna it's, like it's 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 not as bad as Montreal, but it's very close. Like we're we're just a little bit more north than than, than they are, but Clara TV says, hey at Switch Corner, thanks to help us save money on eShop deals. Thank you very much, Alex, as well. Besides me, one of the best eShop channels out there. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> there, level up. Nice. I think the level up's the most important part is that it freaking gives you your health back. Now, which way are we going? Are we off track? No, upwards. I'm not using the assists though. I'm um, probably not doing this very efficiently right now. I'm not using the assists properly. We can probably extend our combos quite a bit. Oh, so Saint Marie is crazy north. That's that's. Yeah, I I, I have to find uh I have to find a picture. But I have a picture of my wife who's like six months pregnant in the worst snowstorm we had in the last 20 years. And basically, we were stuck at work because we were working at the same place. And that's when we worked away from home. So we were actually like out in the office. And for the first time since ever that I actually work, um, like since I'm in the working world, Offices were shutting down early to send people home because there was so much snow that if they didn't send people home, it was going to be like unsafe for people to go home. Uh, so they were sending pe like offices, buildings, stores were closing early so that everyone could get home and get there safe. There was something like 24 to 28 inches over 24 hours that fell. And I basically have a have a picture of my wife standing with like a snow brush in her hand and like basically you can't even tell it's my like if i would if i didn't know it was my wife you can't see her face or anything but she's standing with a snow brush and basically a snow bank that's like a foot above her head <laughs> and basically i'm in the background trying to shovel our car out of the way because you know 24 inches of snow is only this high but the problem is when the snow plows push it out of the street it makes huge snow banks so basically our car had a snowbank that was higher than our car and I was just lucky because since we were leaving the office, like everyone from the office is parked on the same street. So me and one of my colleagues, what we did is we shoveled in between both cars so that one could get out from like forwards and the other one could get out backwards to sort of like cut down on the job. But I'd have to try and see if I can find it. I know I have that picture somewhere. It is. Like, it's insane. That was the craziest snowstorm I, I ever saw in my life. Huh? 
Oh, we can juggle. I just managed to juggle there. That is something I did not know. But the juggles seem hard to get because there's a lot of delay between the beginning and end of some combos. Oh my god, we can go up the rock climbing wall. What the heck? Is this like a secret objective or something? That was weird. <laughs> the, the mechanics feel weird though. Like to just see your character randomly grab the wall and start climbing. Still on the right track here. Okay, we're right in the zone. Are we getting to like a boss fight? That would be nice. Next stop, the video game store. OMG, oh. look what's playing at the movie theater. We well, really shouldn't. Please. Okay, next stop, a movie, then the video game store. Yes. Let's go. Man, these benches hit hard. Oh, dang. That was bad. If you miss that chomp move, holy cat crap, the recovery time is like insane. So, movie theater next. Sabu family, rich boy Kazuya Yakuza. We meet again, huh? Ew, it's that weird teacher from school, the one that expelled us. And threw us out a window. Oh yeah, not cool, dude. The name's Ken. So are we going to get our first Sabu boss fight? That would be awesome. Town now. Sort of in the mood mayor? for a boss fight. I didn't know we had a mayor. He's not the mayor. He's the head yeah, of the San hours is criminal rough. organization. Aren't criminals not supposed to refer to themselves as criminals? Because eh, you're in LA, that's why. Because for me, England is only like I'm a six or seven hour places. flight. You that's because I'm, uh, that's I'm leaving from the East Coast. My embarrassing Pretty up north. Battle. Masuzu? Hibari? My brother lives in England too. He lives Sabu um oh, He lives in Sherwood, which is yeah, an actual place. It's funny before my so now, before my brother I've moved to England. Like to when you hear uh, the two of you in that order. Not Sherwood, but um Sher well, near Sherwood Forest, but it's um is that Where heck's Robin Hood from? He's from I um, go to that school. What's humiliating about getting a two month He lives in he lives in that town. Through that. I, I thought it was anyway, like I knew it was a place back in time, but I didn't think the city was still called my, uh, that, plan. and I didn't it know Sherwood Forest. Well, Sherwood Forest apparently I mean, is super small try. now because it's been mostly it's cut like down. It doesn't work out too well for people. But, um, oh, we shall see. My God, Robin Hood is from. Oh my God. Time to die. Give me a sec, guys. I'm. It's bothering me. Yes, yes. I love you too, Topaz. Nottingham. There. 
my god i was like man I, why why am i can like you know it's one of those weird things where you just hear it so often in movies from like you know n like nottingham and and sherwood forest and all that you know that historically there are places but i didn't think they were still like nowadays ca called the same thing and basically till my brother moved there and i was like what like <laughs> nottingham like the actual nottingham is is still a place and he's like, yeah, maybe, like, but it makes sense. I mean, why would you change the name of the city? Like, it, it does make sense, like, when you think about it. Oh, dang. I don't know what those are supposed to be. Okay, so we got phase one. Okay, good thing. Interesting once again. Oh man, we gotta get to this face. At least we have plenty of food, so it's not too much of a stress. Okay, you can use food even when you're on the ground. But seriously, no. Uh, uh, honestly, oh, River City Girls. If you're if you're if you're a fan of beat 'em ups, but you would you like a beat 'em up that like maybe has it's not just straightforward stages and less repetitive. I would say River City Girls can be an awesome game because like there's a storyline. You're like I said, you have RPG line mechanics mixed in. It is a super interesting series, and so far, although there's like I said, I I would have liked him to be a little more specific with the storyline. This is turning out to be a great experience. Apparently I'm really liking this one. Whatever. It's basically the first yes. one with improvements. Oh, that was yeah, I'm not even so sure that guy is a teacher, you know? What's it say? Only question Guess that I have is like, how meaty is it? Like, how long will it take to make your way through, like, the main elements? That's going to be left to see. And the one downside so far, a lot of loading screens. I really wish they would find a way to like cut down on the loading screens. Oh. So, who do you think it was that stopped Ken from killing us? Higher slam. Guess Hold we'll find X. out soon enough. Ouch. Oh man. Is there a grab button? Hold on. I want to see something. Is there a grab button? Uh, recruit, special, jump, move, left, da, da, da. No, I can only grab when they're stunned. What? Oh, that's it. So that is it. When we do grab them, we can tire slam. Now, do we have somewhere that we're supposed to go? Not really, eh?
Did I miss something? Did they say we're supposed to go somewhere? I wasn't paying super attention to what they were saying. And we go towards the right. weird though because when they're when they're like down i guess when they're not begging for mercy meet me at north ravine lane that's it that's the honk okay so we got somewhere okay so all the way back there now there is a bus station let's try to take the bus because i assume we can go from one bus place to the other so there is a bus station like a couple of screens away Hey, Jinx you. Welcome. Welcome, Kote Acorn, by the way. Anyone I didn't say welcome to, sorry about that. I'll try and check in a little bit. In a bit and see if I can make sure that I say hi to everyone. We have actually quite a bit of money now. Let's go look if there's anything we buy in here because this is a sports store. We didn't check, but I don't have any accessories yet. Oh no, this is where we came from. My bad. Right? Where are we now? Yeah. Sorry guys, I'm bad. This is where we came from. Okay, so you don't actually have to fight each and every time. It's only when the screen is locked. When you see those chains, that's where you have to fight before you can move on. So at least at one point, if you're sort of fed up and you just want to get moving faster, you can just walk away from the fight. This is a clothing store. Who let there we you go. In? You can wear two kinds of accessories that will aid you in battle with buffs and upgrades. Okay, bomb bra, throw weapons might explode. Power mitten, using weapons can sometimes be very shocking. Double the velocity of thrown weapons and grabbing money can heal your wounds. This one actually feels like this one is expensive, but that feels like it can be really good. I mean, I think that I think it's worth the investment. It's expensive, but I, I feel like long term this is gonna be like a very strong item to have. Because basically, every time you beat someone, there's a chance to regen some of your life. Let's just make sure that they're equipped. There we go. The question is, is how often will they trigger? And we spend a lot of money there, so the problem is that 
not necessarily gonna have enough to buy a lot of moves when we get back to the dojo. Got too many physical games to play yet. Yeah. <laughs> I have just too many games to play, period. Ouch, that, that, that sucked. Jeez. Now, the one thing I wish, though, with the items is there's no way you can remember how much health each item regens. There should be some kind of visual that helps you know which item regens how much. Because right now I can see that I'm about to eat like a sundae, like an ice cream sundae, but I have no idea like how much life that was supposed to regen. And sometimes decision wise, like, you know, I'd like to know, am I going to regen 25% or am I going to regen 35%? Now, I assume we're still going the right way. Yeah, the bus station should be on the next screen. We're going to try it because there's a bus station right near where we need to go. $30 with when you upgrade right now, that's actually a pretty decent, pretty decent discount. And I just fell off the screen. Awesome. You guys haven't seen a health uh, regen uh, trigger yet, have you? Like, other than when I ate the, uh, the candy? I'm forgetting to hit them when they're on the ground. That's, that's pretty waste. Let me just see here. Um, we did not go the right way. We did not go the right way. I'm like, this is not a screen I recognize and we're supposed to be going back the way we came. So obviously not the right way. So that means there has to be a door further this way. Kun has a great uh, move list. I assume, like, honestly, when we're gonna get, like, full moves, I'm, I'm, I assume... <laughs> now, is it here that we have a bus station? Come on. Yeah, it is. So we should have a bus depot here. Here it is. Why can we only go there? Is it because I didn't touch the... Uh... Okay, it's, it's still going to be faster to go back home. But I guess it's because I didn't touch the other bus, bus stop. Which is something I'll have to do to make sure that now, every time I get to one, I touch the bus stop so that we can travel to where we want. Ouch. Here. I guess we're gonna go in our house because it's supposed to give us some health back before we go down. Like it's it's a fast stop. Our house is over here, right? That's the dojo. Our house has to be more over here.
So it's not too bad, man. I'm liking the game. It's uh, if you guys like the first one, you're gonna like the second one. I can tell you right away. Like pretty straightforward. Should we maybe try a different character? Now I know I've been building stats on this guy, but should we try a different character? One of the girls. Yay! Let's try. Am I back at level 1? No, I'm level 2. So I seem to have some... I seem to have some XP, so we're not starting from level 1, but... It's gonna be a little rough, guys. <laughs> we're gonna be back to square 1, but I wanna try someone else. Oh, and does she not have any of the items? Are items, like, also individual? That's crazy. Hold on. Oh no, I can put these on. Good. Do I have any items? The items are not, though. I don't have the food we bought. Dang. And none of the stats we got with the other guy. Hmm. This feels like first playthrough, you're sort of gonna, like, if you want to progress quickly, you're sort of gonna have to commit to a character and, and stick with it. Now we're gonna, I'm still gonna continue with her to feel someone else, feel out someone else, but s seriously, I feel like, like, there should be some kind of cross progression with the different characters. Although I guess it does give quite a bit of replayability. Like, Let's say there's... Can give quite a reason to sort of replay the game over again. Or maybe we're gonna see that, like, once you finish the main storyline, there's gonna be side storylines to upgrade the other characters. You can see that. Too. But there's maybe a good side to the fact that the progression isn't cross. The only downside is we're gonna have to... Like right now, since we're going ahead in the storyline, it's probably going to be more difficult because the enemies are going to get slightly more difficult, but we're back to square one. Okay, I guess this is the person we have to talk to. Oh, actually, I don't have any assists right now. I should have... I have to get into the habit of blocking this game. I'm playing it too much like a, a Streets of Rage where like you're gonna dodge the attacks primarily. Hello, children. It's that Yakuza lady. The one we kicked through the window. And we'll do it again if you start any trouble. Kick me through a window? We are in a street. Yeah, well... Dang it, she's she got, got me there. there. <laughs> Maybe we could meet up later at our penthouse? Silence! I'm not here so I wonder, the dialogue you. seems to be shifting really because we're playing one of the we girls are way now. Rusty on our training. Don't tell her that. You two caused me some minor. Does so the dialogue fears. also shift based on who you're minor, playing? That would be fun. But it is my father. Giving you like different perspective depending on who you're playing. Me. I don't think she's gonna kill us. Yeah, I'm getting that sense. So then, what do you want from us? Also, thanks for stopping your brother. You can't reach my father. Not yet, anyway. To get inside Sawakai Tower where he waits, you must first acquire the emblems of each of his disciples. Bicycles? She said bicycles! Pay attention. Forget it. We will start with Ken. To destroy my brother, you must prove him a failure to my father. 
And there's nothing my father loves more than his wealth. I bet they've got all kinds of gold cats in their house. We do. Head across town to River City Bank. My father owns it now. It's where my father launders his money. Stop his men from making their deposit, then await further instructions. Okay, Why should so... we do anything for you? Because for once, our mutual adversaries are in alignment. Uh... You can keep the money. What are you waiting How for in gig? on Game Pass? Rick, help out DJ? Hold on. I need an import title. Hold on. Hold on. You need an import title to add for free shipping from PlayAsia. Have you played one game that a lot of people don't know about, but is actually a really great game? Give me a sec here. It is... Um, Uh, like you know, I'm usually I'm freaking terrible with names. Well, Trigger Witch can be a really good one. There's a physical of Trigger Witch, but that's not the one I'm thinking of. I would go with like I'm looking cheaper games because you want if you're if you're borderline to add something get to get free shipping. You probably don't need a very expensive game. Oh my god, what's it called? It is um. It is. Oh, here it is. It is uh, Reverie Sweet as Edition. That is a really great little, um, basically like dungeon crawler type Zelda game. That honestly, um, not very many people know about. But I did want. I, like I've been wanting to talk about it for a, a little while now. Find a way to talk about it. Uh, I don't have the physical of it yet, but I do want to pick it up because for a long time, it, once it's one, the physical is a Play Asia exclusive, it, and it was out of stock for the longest time. But they did a reprinting on it this year, and it was a game that was extremely expensive before the reprinting. And um, I would definitely like if you guys are looking for, I can share it on the screen really quick. Um, Mm -mm -mm -mm. This is the one I'm talking about. Uh, Reverie Sweet as Edition. I would definitely look into it. It is a pixel art, a little Zelda game, Zelda type game. It's not very long, however, but it is extremely enjoyable extremely like I, I would definitely easily uh, say that that is a game that is more than worth it no it's not new it's not a new game but it was one that was really hard to get because like I said the physical was a play Asia exclusive and now there's a there's like a question mark towards the left I feel like going there first because these seem like sub objectives. So if we can go to the left, I want to go there first. It's only two screens away. No, wait, I just want to see something. Did we miss a bus stop? There's a bus stop on this screen. Oh, so we didn't miss a bus stop. The bus stop was literally up there on that screen. I'm gonna say something really quickly. Her combos, her combos seem smoother for the moment. Can't get through here yet. I could tear through. Maybe it's because also Dragon I've been kick. playing for a little bit more, so I'm getting used up. to like. The combat speed, the Let's combat system. Yeah, here we go. 
But if you want, if, if DJ, if you don't like that game, by the way, and you want me to look for another, like another good suggestion, you can always let me know, like, like what kind of game you would like to think about, like, look for, and I can try to find another decent suggestion. However, I've got to say, although I love importing games, it's been a little bit quieter for the last few months. Like, a lot of the games that I want physically, we've actually been getting in North America. Like, for the last few months, there's been less, like, exclusive games hey, to, to um, outside of North America. It's a free country. No, we mean... Anyway, how's it going? Not bad. Just trying to kick these Nimrods into shape for the upcoming dodgeball tournament. Hey, you're pretty tough, right? Yeah, and it's very good you know Krakadon. It. Like, if you like when part one, you're gonna like part two. Of course, town? if you don't like a These slower paced beat em up, really like you just like How straightforward levels and, and beating yeah. people up, Why? you're better off playing something said. like uh, Jitsu Squad yours. that we played last week. Oh, yeah. But if you want a but slower burn sort of RPG, like almost action RPG meets beat em up, this is gonna be another great one. Oh, yeah. Sure, we'll help Music is awesome once cool. again. Head out on the court. I had to Let's tone it down. Going. Hopefully, like I, I've said a couple of times, uh, hopefully we won't get... Uh... Okay, I'm not sure what this is, but it seems like a mini game. Beanball Blitz. Would we have to beat all these guys? Or do we, oh, we have to throw the bean balls back at them? Is that it? Okay, hold on. I didn't pay attention. Let me... Let me... Hold on. We're gonna say no, because I want her to explain to me what I have to do again. And Kat, can you please get off me for two seconds? Thank you! My whole body is sore. Why do sports exist? The important thing is you tried. Let me really? pay attention again. No. Come back when you're healed up to try again. Okay. Ugh, she's not explaining to me what it is. I don't know if I have to beat them up or if I just have to catch the balls or and throw them back or if I just have to dodge. I think I have to... Oh, I think I have to knock them out the ball. So basically, that's it. Like, we have to win a dodgeball match. And they can hit each other. Dang. One. There we go. Okie doke. Hey, A little nice mini job. Game. You actually did okay out there. We are pretty athletic. I wouldn't go that far. I owe you guys though. Anytime you need my help. Will you join our gang? I'm too busy training these goons, remember? Oh yeah. We gotta go save the city now. See you around, Yoko. Nice. So we do get stats from leveling up. I just saw it. So you do get, we got like a, um, attack and ST. So we now have the volleyball save. I wonder if I can redo this mission as Punio and get like the XP again.
I forgot that she has the freaking Chung Li thing. Oh, dope. So, this one's done. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm honestly, I'm looking forward to making my way through Crisis Four again. But like I said, I'm, I'm also really looking forward. I know no one's gonna care, but I'm really looking forward to Joe and Mac. I want to try new Joe and Mac, man. So I'm, I'm really gonna do the unboxing quickly, so that I can actually play the game after that. Now let's just go take a look at the GPS. I just want to see on the screen where we're supposed to be going. There, we're right next to a bus stop. So we should able, be able to take the bus here and get right to our next destination. Mm, uh, I've already spent the night uh, basically in, like, I went out for a night with the boys and uh, we drank too much. I decided to stay behind uh, at the club and, like, because my friends were tired and they went home. And then basically I knew I was not okay to drive. And... Um, you can't i couldn't stay overnight in my car so i <laughs> this is way back like younger so i slept like in a bank terminal <laughs> i went to bed like in a bank terminal in montreal waiting for like waiting for basically the alcohol to wear off and 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 drive home and other than that i would say i've locked myself out of a house once uh, we had like a front door that like could lock automatically and I left and then realized that my keys were inside so I had to break into my own house by basically trying to unlatch the window from the outside I did manage to however so luckily I didn't have to pay for like locksmith or anything oh nice we got the dab I love the dab that was my that was one of my favorite moves from her from the first game we always end the combo on a dab So now we need to go, hold on, let me just look at the GPS because this is where it's a little weird. Okay, we need to go to the right. Now we can go beyond the mall. Yeah, I will post the unboxing champ. Most likely tomorrow you guys are going to get a short for the unboxing and most likely a eShop deals video. Now, it is possible that tomorrow's eShop deals video, just to let you know, is going to be a, um, like, a sizzle reel only, okay, because it's a mini sale, and because I want to make another video on Sunday, but we've, I've skipped the $5 video, so what I might do tomorrow, just be able to put two videos out, like, Two following days because I might do an under five dollar video sizzle reel format only and then basically a bigger eShop deals on Sunday for for the rest of the stuff because because if I want to put them out both rapidly and I've got to be honest with you guys next week there's a good chance that we're gonna get the Christmas sale however don't sleep on the deals for this weekend there's a couple that are freaking major if you don't have the games yet but if you like, but basically, I don't want to be 
working on like a regular eShop deals or something like that if we do get a Christmas sale or something like that. And also I have a couple of other videos that I would like to put out. I'm way overdue on my 8-bit though ultimate controller review. I'm way overdue on my favorite <laughs> controller, like my top my top controller list. So I'm real I really want to try and, and get both things out there. But I know a lot of you like the under five dollars, so I don't wanna and I wanna do the giveaway. I wanna I wanna do two giveaways a week, like for the ten dollar eShop gift cards. So I'm gonna push out two videos. I'm gonna try to push out two videos over the weekend with the unboxing as a short. So that's most likely what is going to happen. Make me able to do it. Ooh. Oh, can I, can I, are you gonna let me get up now? Thank you. I saw we just got a little bit of health back there when I did my uh, when I picked up the money. So our item does work Hurry from up, time to time. Coons. We gotta get these bags into the vault and get back to the tower fast. Look, Thanks for stopping by, Crackadon. Oh, jeez. If you these pick up the game, again? I hope you enjoy Can't it. I ever get a break? Didn't you blow up in that explosion at Samurai Tower? Your 8-bit though ultimate comes in on Sunday. Fast. It's Look, I'm gonna give you spoils. It's it's worth anyway, it. It's a really good controller. From you now. Yeah, I, I think yeah, it's gonna be for the moment. No, why? Cause it's my job. I, I love uh, my my favorite saying is from like Starship vault, Troopers. You're it till I find someone done. better, until you die, right or I find someone tower? better. And that is so no, my perspective count. on like controllers now, for up, the Switch fellas. and and, and things. I love every controller I've said that I I endorsed. But I'm not ever gonna stop to looking for Is a possibility like to get this? a better one. Apparently, ready to kick some more yakuza butt. Definitely, Can't. let's go kick some yakuza butt. What's wrong? You've got that mopey face, like when someone takes away a kitten you're petting. I was just thinking, isn't it wrong to rob from a bank? It's not from the bank. They're moving the money through there illegally. I guess. But it's still not ours, right? Not yet, anyway. Besides, if we get a little extra scratch out of this, we can finally afford to buy some new video games. I guess that's true. Okay, we have to stop the guy with the money bag. I'm done. That was bad. I just didn't pay attention once again. I've got to stop doing that. I've got to like pay attention when we're getting storyline to well, that wasn't what it tough. is we've got to do. And hey, we made some cash too. I wonder why Sabu was trying to take over the town. You think too much. Crystar is an action RPG. Yeah, I saw that Crystar. I was wondering what it's uh, what it's like. It's one of the games I sort of shortlisted to possibly try soon so do we have a do we have a where we're supposed to go no nope. so let's just exit here and generally we get a pop-up that tells us where we're supposed to go now we're probably not going to go much further guys today because i think we are getting to about the time where i have to start thinking of stopping the screen oh dang 
It's actually some nice timing though that uh, my River City Girls Zero came in this week when the second game just came out. Oh, level up. I know which way we're supposed to go. Yeah, I know. I normally I try to start or stop around 8:30 because either way, I never stop. Like when I say it's time to stop, I still end up talking to you guys for at least like 5-10 minutes after. And generally my wife, if it's past nine, she starts complaining because the kids have to get to bed and my daughters don't go to sleep, so I basically tuck them in. So I have to like I have to be there. If I don't, they're gonna they're gonna basically give her a hard time and not want to go to bed till I get upstairs. But like I said, one day, perhaps sooner than we think, I might be able to do this way more close to full time, and we will be able to stream multiple times a week. So we're actually going to be able to play full games. That is honestly what I would love to do one day. Um, honestly, if nothing else good comes out, Paul, yes, I will. If nothing else, like I, I didn't look at the schedule and I, I really try not to make my mind up a week ahead of time because if I find like another amazing game that either came out or, or a developer sends me and doesn't give me an embargo or something like that, um, you know, I do want to reserve the right to like say like, oh, I'd rather play this. But if nothing else good comes out, I've got to tell you there is a good chance because if it wasn't for this game that we're playing right now, that's what we would have been playing this week. Like I was excited enough about Joe and Mac that if River City Girls 2 wasn't also coming out this week and like yesterday, basically, uh, we'd be playing. Um, We'd be playing Joe and Mac. Okay, I'm not sure where we're supposed to be going. Is there anything in here? It doesn't seem to be anyone I can talk to. I can't use the doors. And this is locked. This basically wasn't the way we were supposed to go. But definitely, Joe and Mac is like... I remember when I was a kid, like... It was one of the first games I think I saw... Um, like, in a demo in a store. I think I remember, like, it, it was Radio Shack. Had, like, a... You know, a, a sort of console out front, like, demoing that you could play. And it had Joe and Mac on it. And I remember, like, being, like, a kid and going, Oh my god, I want to play this, but I sucked at the game. I remember I tried to play it and I like, you know, when you're a kid and you're like, I don't know, like five or six and you try to play a game, you generally always suck. <laughs> and that's pretty much what happened. Now, I wonder if someone joins your co-op, do they get the... Okay, what? I'm not going to... Oh, downtown and uptown are open now. Okay, so we can either go to the secret room up there, or we can go over there. Okay, what we're going to just do, we're going to do one last thing. We're going to go do the blue question mark, which I think is a sub object, like a, a, a mini game. And then we're going to call it from there. So we're going to go do that one last thing. And then we are going to, uh, well, I'm going to stop playing. I don't know, we might chat a bit, and I'll go look through um, the, the chat, but yeah, 
and make sure that and, and i'm sorry guys i might have missed a lot of messages tonight because i'm i am focused on the gameplay tonight it is a gameplay i've been uh, prove your worth if you want to get in the club let's see some moves okay so we sort of got another objective i'll look at it as soon as i get through these guys Does, is it me or does it feel like Kyoko leveled up way quicker than Kunio earlier? Okay, let's just see the GPS. I just want to see something. So Uptown. Okay, so yeah, we do have an objective in Uptown, but it's at the other end of the world. So it's guaranteed we don't have time to make it out there. However, we should be able to go down two screens. And we should have something. Yeah, one last thing. I mean, I know, me too. Don't worry. It's not as bad as the days where I used to play World of Warcraft. World of Warcraft, man, it was the one last thing was like the, the, the bane of my existence. When you were farming for gold or items or whatever, and you were like, oh, just, just one more, just one more. Okay, can, uh, can I stop being ran over by cars? That would be, like, super enjoyable. Okay, this is where we have to go. This is the new place. Oh, hey. the guy... It's I like this guy in the first one. Please the don't tell me that's... Yep, it's Godai. Godai. Uh, the one and only... <laughs> Accept no substitutions. I'd accept a refund. By the way, I saw you two take out that Yakuza crew at the bank. Very impressive. How'd you see that? Oh, well, uh, you know, I like to keep my eyes around town. <laughs> Speaking of, you two sure are dressed sharp today. I don't like where this is going. I got a proposition for you. Does it involve my foot in your neck? <laughs> uh, maybe later. Anyway, I'm working that on a secret photography naughty. project. How's about you sounds two like take selfies likes, of yourselves uh, around town? He likes Why? being uh, pushed Why around a bit. Why not? Should be what you're asking. Why, you creepy little yeah, skunk? Yeah, Sifu, uh, Sifu's a good port. Project. It's 30 FPS, anyway, but it, it's a I'll good port, a and, and you don't need more than that. Snap photos of yourselves Very around little town technical and problems. I have it physically. Special. Um, I don't trust him. Well, I had it digitally, but well, I bought it physically as well. I haven't cash. opened it physically yet. Okay, it's actually doormat. one of the two unboxings do I want to do after Joe and Matt. Cameras on your cell phones, of that course. and uh, Why do we keep fist. agreeing to stuff like this? So take selfies of Godai across River City. How do we take selfies? Ah, uh, here. No. I didn't pay attention. Ah, God, uh, that's the story of my life tonight. Trying to do too many things at once. Hold on. Must be in here. This is just photo feed. Can we see our... Uh, where can I see, like, our objectives? I guess they're in red everywhere we have to take selfies. Hmm. Okay, well. That's going to be a long-term one, so I thought we were going to be able to do one last thing, but it seems like we will not. Yeah, this, uh, that's what I have. I have the Steel Book of Fist. I want to open it. I want to check it out. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to do an unboxing for it.
I wonder, does the game save automatically? I assume it does. Not, I'm just gonna go back to my home nonetheless. And quit from there. There we go. Yeah, and it's crazy that the Steelbook of Fist is like just well, it's the day one edition, so maybe one day they're gonna stop making like steelbooks of it. But oh, save and quit. There we go. There we go. Ugh. But yeah, and Fist is honestly an underrated um, Metroidvania on the Switch as well. The only thing is, it's it's still more expensive right now. Because someone uh, who was asking for like a good Metroidvania earlier, like it's not a cheap one. But, um, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill the sound of the uh, game, okay? Because this is the big song with the lyrics. Good chance that this one will definitely pop it. But honestly, just the opening sequence of this game is freaking amazing. When you can watch the animation with the music, it's an awesome opening sequence. <laughs> How much you want to bet that Champ Dancer, that the uh, DJ is going to buy the PSVR 2? For my son, yes, me, no. Of course it's for your son, DJ. It's not for you. Everything we do, we buy the games are for our kids. <laughs> I don't know if you're married, but that's what I tell my wife. No, I'm joking. She knows it's for me. Um, But seriously, um... Good game. I'm 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 glad we played this tonight. Now I know I'm a little bit lower energy than usual, by the way, guys. I'm sorry about that. Like I said at the beginning, it's just been a really rough week at work. Um I was really looking forward to streaming though tonight, so like it's not it's not a chore or anything, but I know I'm a little bit lower energy than usual because mentally, man, I was looking forward to Friday. And at the same time, I was a little disappointed that I didn't get any other videos out this week. I would have really liked one yesterday or today. Uh, but honestly, I just had to focus on on 9 to 5 job. I had to get that stuff out. It's like the Christmas rush because it's the end of year. So we've got to, like, I've got so much stuff that I have to tie together. Ghostbusters looks uh, amazing. Ghostbusters looks like a lot of fun, and I love Ghostbusters. I'm a huge, uh, I'm a huge fan. Yeah, PSVR. It, but PSVR is expensive. When you think that you have to have like a six hundred dollar PS Five with a, another six hundred dollar attachment. That's a thousand two hundred man. It's a lot. However, at the same time, when you compare it to other VR options out there, you need to have a PC. So the PC is most likely going to cost you more than six hundred dollars to have a PC that can actually run VR. And the VRs that don't need PCs to run, the quality is pretty low. But um I'm glad you guys are jumping into that. There's a chance I'm going to have my PS5 uh, after the holidays. A couple of things to hash out, but if everything works out properly, I will finally have it. I've been saying that for three months now, trying to get God of War. And I know it's on PS4, but I don't want to play God of War for the first time on PS4. I want to play it on PS5, 4K, on a TV. Like, I'm not even going to play it on my monitor. I'm actually going to plug it on my 4K TV and, and play it on the TV. Uh, no way. Like, I, I need to. Oculus? Yeah, Ocul Oculus. I've heard good things as well. I, I've only... Yeah, I, I hope so, too. It's, it's just a lot. And right now, you know what I mean? Like... To buy that when I know I'm most likely not going to do a lot of content for the channel with it. It always feels like my gaming money should go somewhere else.
wait for the PS5, please. You mean till the slim comes out, the 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 second version? Yeah, that's another reason. Like, I know we're we're getting close to that. Uh, I know we're getting close to maybe having another version of the PS5. Thing is, if they're they're probably only gonna announce it like January to March, because they don't want to affect holiday sales of PS5s, and they also don't want to like if they're gonna announce a second version, they also won't announce it in January. Oh yeah, I'm gonna wait. Don't worry, don't worry. Uh, I'm I'm gonna wait. I'm not gonna buy it on PS4. Don't worry. No, no worries there. I told myself I would wait no matter what. And I will. I will. It is. Uh, no, it, it's worth it. Uh, you know, I'm not going to lie. I, I did cheat a bit and I watched some cinematics from it and I watched a little bit of gameplay from it. Um, not all of it, but I'm like, oh, man, th that game has to be experienced in, 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 in freaking PS5, 4K the whole the whole shebang oh by the way guys next week hopefully we have i'm going to have the one thing in the studio that we've been missing what is the one thing in a lot in my in my video that a lot of people say you're missing in the studio for the guy for for all of you that did watch my 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 video a few of you had mentioned in the comments Man, you're missing something in your studio to make it like a real like gaming den. And I bought it. I found it. It should be here hopefully by next week. Let's see if some of you can guess it. I'm going to give you a minute. Yeah, DJ got it. A fridge. I got the Xbox fridge. I got the uh, Xbox um, Ser Series X fridge, uh, beer fridge. The, the, honestly, the only thing that disappoints me is it only fits in eight cans or like four big ones and two small ones and and little room for, for <laughs> stripper pole. <laughs> that would be awesome as well. Uh, as long as I'm not the one doing the stripper moves. Eh? I don't think anyone wants to see that. <laughs> Cheerleaders would be awesome too. Who knows? Once my daughters are, once my so if one of my daughters becomes a gamer and gets, and once she's old enough, she can maybe be my cheerleader in the background. I can have her game for me from time to time. Can finally have some help on the channel. <laughs> get uh, get her into it. Uh, Walmart, actually, I was freaking surprised. I managed to get it from Walmart Canada. It's getting shipped here. They don't. They didn't have it like physically at Walmart, but I was able to buy it online and have it shipped to my local Walmart. So I'm gonna. It's. It should be here. Uh, it should be here next week. But just FYI, I've already bought a lot of stuff from Walmart online, and you can never trust their shipping times. Sometimes it gets there way earlier. Sometimes it gets there way later. So. Fingers crossed it's going to be there by next Friday and we, we I'm going to be able to show you guys. What is next Friday, by the way? Next Friday is the 23rd, right? I feel like saying, yeah. So yeah, there's going to be a stream next week because we're the 23rd. We are the 20th. Yeah, we're the 23rd. So by the way, there is going to be a stream next week. We're lucky. Christmas does not like if if the, if it would if Friday would have been the 24th guys I'll be honest I don't think I would have been able to stream because my wife would have killed me uh, but since it's the 23rd I'm pretty sure we're going to be able to stream anyway so next week hopefully right there-ish I don't know if you guys right there-ish there will be the Xbox fridge right under Mario it should fit in there by the measurements it should be about, it should be, make it about right, right under the Mario poster. It will be plugged in right there. So it'll be uh, awesome. Definitely, we will, uh, we will have a 23rd Festivus and uh, maybe, like I said, Joe and Mac or something else. Like, unless something like really, really awesome comes out, 
I think we're gonna I think we're gonna be playing some Joe and Mac. It's a nice 2D side scrolling game. I'll be able to and I'll I'm gonna honestly just to tell you guys, if anyone is 23rd is gonna be a chill stream where we're gonna take a lot of time to talk. Okay. I know some people <laughs> I've tried to play more the games than talk uh in the last few weeks, but I always feel I, I always feel like I rather talk to you guys sometimes than like just game, game, game. But a lot of people that aren't regulars on the channel, they watch the videos and they're like, you're always talking and you're not playing. And I'm like, no, but that's the way it is. But um, I'm going to take more time to talk next week. So we're going to chill. We're going to game, but we're going to talk we like I'm going to try and follow the chat way better. Answer your questions. Talk to you guys. And uh, oh my God, Chris M for the Maple Beer Fund to fill the fridge. Cheers, nine ninety nine. Thank you so much, Chris M. Very appreciated. Upcoming games that I'm most excited for. Hmm. Good question. Well, the easy one is <laughs> Breath of the Wild two or uh, Tears of the Kingdom, Zelda. L let's be honest. There's no way I can't be excited for that. Hades 2, on, although it's not officially said to be coming to Switch, I, I'm, pr I'm pretty sure it's not. I, I said I'd look into it and I forgot to check it. Uh, like, if it's not right away on Switch, it's guaranteed it's gonna be. I can't see it wouldn't be because... It, it did so well on Switch that I'd like they'd be they'd be crazy not to release it eventually for Switch. Yeah, it's going to be early access on PC first, and more details coming in twenty twenty three. But Hades two is definitely like I'm going to be watching out for it. Oh, I'm glad, Scranman. Yeah, hopefully we're going to be able to play it next week. Um, let me see, because honestly, I, I'm, I'm, I'm so like right now. I look about one month at a time to really try and choose what games I want to play to review. So I'm trying to think of other games that I've seen for next year. Uh, I'm looking forward also to uh, Metal Slug Tactics. I know that's probably not the right name, but I know you guys are going to know what I'm talking about. The Metal Slug Tactical RPG or Tactical Game, like XCOM style um, Tactical Game. I'm looking forward as well. Um, what else? Rise up for the PS5. I did a big collector's edition for it. Yeah. Ryza looks good. I'm uh, I'm gonna be lo I'm looking forward to getting into the PS5 games and playing a few of the bigger ones that I missed. Um, I'd have to I really ha would have to look at a list of what's upcoming for next year because I'm sure I'm missing I'm forgetting like four or five games. I do hope we get an I I do go hope we get another Mario title. I'll be uh, like, there's none announced, but I do hope we get another Mario title um, with the um, before the switch ends or, or or if not, I hope we get the switch Two announced and, and the new Mario title with the switch Two, because all the Mario titles we've gotten so far have been like remakes of Wii U versions or. Uh, or we got, you know, a, a 3D Mario World with Bowser's Fury. We got, like, the, the Bowser's Fury as an add-on. But I would really like, like, a real new Mario line game. Like, straightforward Mario game. But that's not an announcement. It's not a game I'm looking forward to. I'm hoping... Oh, of course. Uh, Hollow Knight 2 uh, S Silk Song. Come on, we've got to get that next year. If it doesn't come out next year, I'm going to be, like... Honestly, really wondering what the heck's going on. Yeah, definitely. When I get my PS5, I will most likely uh, put my gamer tag either in Discord or... 
there's nowhere on the, there's nowhere on the channel. Uh, I I could put the on the channel. No, I think the channel's going to be too much. Like where we're getting to a size where I don't think I can put my gamer tag on the channel and have like a thousand people ask me for friends because it's just going to become untenable. But probably Discord. I'll I'll put it on Discord for sure. Or you can just ping me on the like when I say I have my PS5 because I'm gonna I'm gonna say it on the stream. I'm gonna say it on the channel. You can just you know ping me on Discord or whatnot and and your 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 gamer tag is Chap Dancer nineteen. Not hard to forget. Or, uh, not, I mean not hard to remember because it's exactly it's Chap Dancer. <laughs> awesome. But yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna put it for sure. I'm gonna put it on Discord at least. So if you're on the Discord, it'll it won't be an issue. Or you can just ask me during the streams. I'll say it. Saying it means that the people interested are gonna pick it up. Those that aren't are not. Oh well. Um. So I mean, th there we have like three or four games that I'm really looking forward to, and those are the ones that are coming off the top of my head right now. But like I said, I'm a little I'm a little bit tired right now, so I'm pretty sure I'm forgetting a bunch of upcoming games. Actually, let's go look. You know what? We, we, we're we not going to get a million games, but we are going to see some upcoming games if we go on the eShop. So just give me a sec. I'm going to kill this for a second so I can get in there. Rick rolled Montreal. <laughs> no, I'm... My my normal gamer tag that I had before um, YouTube is Man of Steel 00. So if if I'm playing a game that I played before I started YouTube, my I'm always always gonna be uh, Man of Steel 00, like Man of Steel 00. Uh, and if I'm playing a game since I play since I started YouTube. My tag is most likely Rick MSGT, uh, which which is pretty easy to remember as well. Yeah, smash that like button, but we've actually got 26 likes and we were like maximum 26 in here. So honestly, it's a, uh, I'm, I'm really, I'm really glad a lot of you hit that like button. Obviously there's some people that mo most likely came in and out and, and whatnot, but, um, a lot of you, um, thank you so much. A lot of you've been hitting that like button. So it's, it's appreciated. It does help send out the stream to more people. Also when the, replay starts it does help the replay because they transfer over okay so we're I'm, I'm not caring about like these 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 rando games i want to go a little further because a little further we won't have indie titles but we'll only have like big titles if it can load because we all know how fast and efficient the uh eShop is Fire Emblem Engage, although I most likely won't have time to play it, I am I am somewhat looking forward to it. I'm mostly like I'm gonna have time to play it, but not finish it. But I'll still play a, a good part of it. I actually I'm actually looking forward to Kirby Dreamland Deluxe because it, I wanna I wanna see how they're gonna remake the traditional uh, Kirby's Octopath Traveler two Figment two. Figment 2 is going to be a big one for me. It, it's it's an indie game, but it's honestly it's going to be a I'm I'm definitely going to try and review this game day 1. If I can, I already reached out to the developer and said like, you know, as soon as you have Figment codes available, I I want those. I want them. Figment 2 is a big one for me at least. Cuz I I love my I love my indies. 
Oh, the Mega Man Battle Network collections. Those are going to be nice to replay. But I'm not going to say they're super... I'm, I'm super excited. But they're definitely some that I'm going to want to replay. Oh, there's, there's very little. Normally, we see the bigger Nintendo games, too. Disney Illusion Island. That one... That one looks interesting. I think it's been, it was on another system too. Uh, so, yeah, so I thought we were going to see more than that, but oh well. That's what we see for the moment, but I mentioned a couple of others. So, hey guys, thank you so much for everyone that showed up. Yeah, it's a new Mickey Mouse game. It looks like a sort of puzzle cooperative platformer. But I feel that I saw it release on another system. I'm not sure. I'm going to have to relook into it again. But I felt that I saw it on another system. And But if not, we're going we're gonna to check it out. So... Hey guys, thank you so much everyone for showing up. We're gonna we're gonna call it here. But next week, if you're available on the 23rd, hopefully, because I'll be off work a lot earlier. We have a half day. So just be on the lookout. Maybe we'll I can't promise because I have to check with the wife and kids and blah blah blah. We are getting pretty close to Christmas. But if at all possible, I'm gonna maybe try to do a longer stream. Maybe even play more than one game if possible. We'll see. Okay. But keep a lookout. I'll announce it either on the channel or I'll just schedule the stream at, at, a, at an earlier time. So have a great day, everyone. A great night, depending on where you are. Thank you so much for showing up as usual. Thank you for everyone who uh, donated to the channel. It's always super appreciated. And as usual, I hope I'll see all of you in my next video. Good night, all.